let's revisit how to make sure that your packaging will be the size you need it to be when you download it. I clicked on the gift box option, but I haven't changed any of the settings yet. So this is all the defaults. The first thing you want to do is come down to this page size and make sure that you are working on an A A3. And in this case, because your packaging orients vertically, you're going to want a portrait of A3, right? If I did this as a landscape, it would be more limiting in terms of the sizes that I could go through to have as options. So you want to make sure that the orientation of the paper matches the orientation of the design of the box. Now, um, I'm going to do this as if I was making this for the seed balls. Uh, and perhaps if there were three seed balls, it were four centimeters by four centimeters. So as we look at the options here, um, we're going to type in some numbers and then hit tab. And you can see as you hit tab, it re-registers over here what your design is going to look like. So in this case, if I wanted three seed balls that were 40 uh, millimeters in diameter, that would allow me to put three. And perhaps if they were um, 35 millimeters instead of 40, they would fit better because, again, sizing is going to be handmade and thus not precise. So if you think they're going to make them 40, then maybe you could make the width actually 45. Um, maybe you could do this at 130. Uh, and then your height is also going to be, right, because the, a, a ball is a sphere which will fit in a cube shape. So this does not need to be a rectangle. It needs to be the same as the height. And you can see how here there's space for three more, for three seed balls in this packaging. Um, you can change any of these. Usually the defaults are pretty good for the size, but if you felt you needed a longer glue flap size to fit somehow, you could do that. Um, material thickness is fine. Uh, rounded corners, also fine. Margin. Um, we will at some point need to have two centimeters on the long side of this. So this is going to be a little bit close, but I think we can make that work. And you make sure that this is the PDF format. Then when you create that, it's going to download. And now we have the gift box that we're going to open in Illustrator. So once it's downloaded, you do need to, let's open a new one of these, or actually open the file. You need to file open, right? Remember, if you just pulled the PDF over into Illustrator, it opens as an image and not as a vector file that you can edit. So file open, and then open that very file that you just downloaded. Now, you can see that this is uh, a vertical, and we're eventually going to need it to be a horizontal. You have a couple of options. Um, you could reorient the, uh, the page, right? So you could do that. Um, or you could um, simply open a new file. Sometimes this is easier, oh, sorry. A new file, Command N, and go to the print defaults, go to the presets for A3, make sure that this one is a landscape and that it is in millimeters. Where am I? Millimeters, millimeters, there we go. And then uh, you can open that. So there we go. Um, the other thing that I would suggest is that you bring down a guide from the top. If you click and drag from your rulers, remember Command R will show your rulers, and bring down a guide that gives you approximately uh, two full centimeters. Do that and bring down another one of distance here, because that's the unprintable area in your document. Okay, so everything you do has to fit up in this area. So now I can go back to this and select that uh, part of the file. I can copy, go back here and paste this in. Okay, so now we have some options. You'll see this is going to actually fit very nicely uh, here. It might also, let's see if we can get two out of this. Maybe. So very close. Um, the other component of this is if we see the capacity to print uh, two, if we can just change the sizes a little bit, 
then it might be worth going back to your uh, template generator and realizing that it is, let's take a look at this again, the length that is causing the problem. So perhaps if this were, instead of 130, it was to 110, and perhaps these become uh, 40 and 40, that will gain us a little bit of size here. And then you just need to inform the uh, fifth graders that their seed balls need to be a little bit smaller in order to fit. Right. So again, I'm just going to take a quick screenshot here so I have all those details. And then you can send them those details uh, it's so that they have them or um, put them in your documentation slides. So now if I delete these, oops, I'm going to delete all of them, including those, um, I still have a blank. Now I'm going to go back here and open the new gift box. Did I not download it? Let me see. Create. Downloading. New size. There's our new size. Make sure it has downloaded all the way. There we go. That's the new one. Now when we pop that one open, I'm going to grab all of that, copy, and paste back in here. Now we can see that it is entirely possible to get two complete uh, packages out of one A3 sheet just by changing a couple of those sizes. And it looks like we might have been able to do a 120 instead of a 110. There's all, all sorts of things, right? So once you have uh, ascertained that you have um, You've made sure that you have two, space for two if you were close. If you weren't even close, then we're just going to get one, but see what's possible. Um, and then uh, we are ready to start doing some of the design work. So that's, that's step one for this. Um, again, you're going to save. Um, this is your package blank, group, whatever group you are, block, whatever block you are. Um, and maybe the, the type of product. It's always useful. Stick a name on there. You can stick all your names on there. Then remember that you need to go back and do that also as a PDF, right? It is only the PDF that you're going to be able to work with. And then you would go back to your um, group. Aha, there's a group five folder and then put that into here so that everybody can work with it, right? So you would then add your PDF to this so that your teammates can work with it if they're working with that uh, packaging format, okay? So that's part one. I will now record part two for starting with the design work.